my name's Jude Wright. I'm Jenny Naylor. And the name of the garden is the Garth Hillside Organic Garden. Well, in the, in the beginning, we had no idea how much, how much it would cost. And we were a bit shocked when we found out our public liability insurance was 200 pounds. So we did sponsored walks, raffles, raised money that way. And then on top of that, we had to buy seeds to plant for the garden. If you can get someone who's a financial expert involved in your board, that's, that's a, a, a really, you know, that's a, a plus sign, but I know that that's quite tricky to, to do in some circumstances. So you, you're really looking for somebody who's got an affinity with that to take that role on in the management committee and then reporting back each time you have a management committee meeting. Um, obviously the budgets for this garden, have, uh, although it was created on a shoestring, they've started to, to kind of develop as we've employed somebody. Um, and we've got funding in for some of the buildings that are on the site as well, haven't mm. we, from time to time. Yeah. But um, when we first accessed Environment Wales funding, that was the first time we had to create a business plan. And so we've had to monitor what we said we'd do in that business plan. Um, and we basically we had to kind of estimate the type of income that we might generate through selling vegetables or having events and courses here or any money that we might generate mm. through fundraising. Um, and we've we've basically kept records of that, you know, as as you do in any kind of company or any organisation. I'm Gerald Miles, uh, an organic farmer. Uh, I'm part of COCA, Kairis Organic Community Agriculture, based here in Pembrokeshire. Creating a budget for our CSA is very important. We have a budget and a cash flow running for the 12 months. You should evaluate everything that goes into it. You should evaluate uh, cost of growing, the time that it takes, usually you put, you put that down as a zero, but it's still costly, whatever you do. But this, this really when you do the, this budget and you do, you cost it out, you do cost the true value what it costs to grow a carrot and bring it to your plate. And we are in a, in a world which is dominated by supermarkets which treat food as a commodity and really it cheapens the food that you actually eat and by doing so it takes the respect away from your food and really one, this is where budgets and uh, cash flows are important to evaluate the, the cost of what it takes to produce it. Mm -hmm.